Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the custom directives in Angular. So we will see that what are, what are the directives, how we can make the custom directives, how we can use them and everything that you need to know about these. So first of all, let's check out the points of this video. We will talk about the directives, what are they uh, in a theoretical way, then uh, I will show you some examples of the default directive which is provided by the Angular then we will see how we can make the custom directives and uh, for that we need to run a command which is ngg directive and directive name and we can use it with the normal html right keep in mind that you can use the directive only in, with the html you cannot use them directly with the uh, ts file right so what are the directives basically directives are used for modify the DOM or modify the HTML element, right? For example, you just want to show or hide the elements, you just want to repeat them, or uh, you just want to change the style and change the color and all, then we use the directives. For examples, you can say that uh, ng4, ng if, ng switch, these are basically used for modify the HTML elements. So they basically show the conditionally uh, things like uh, if else condition we can choose one of the many cases like uh, switch cases and uh, ng4 for uh, repeating the things right so they are basically modifying or updating our html right so these are the default examples now how we can make an example or direct custom directive that can also modify the html right so for that first of all let's create a custom directive and just simply write here ng g and uh, directive and directive name let's say directive name is custom style yep and you can just hit the enter when you hit the enter you will see that the two file is created and one file is updated here right so let's look out there's a two file which is created uh, let's look out the complete name of them which is uh, custom style dot directive dot spec dot ts right and directive dot ts directive dot ts is basically used where we will just write the logic for the directive and spec dot ts is used for writing the test case for it and module is basically used to include this one right so you will find that uh, this is automatically included in your module file by the command line right this is imported here and this is uh, uh, register inside the declarations right now let's see how we can use it obviously as i told you we can use it only with the html element so let's just go in the app.component.ts and uh, just write here h1 tag and simply write here normal heading right then let's make one more like custom heading i just want to apply this custom style on the html uh, custom heading tag right so for a moment okay so let me check what's wrong with it up sometime we just need to restart it so just uh, uh, restart your ng server and this will be automatically fixed so it's all about yes now you can see that this is done and we have the two tags but they, for a moment they are normal right then how i can apply here the custom directive for that first of all you must have to know the name of custom directive and just go inside the custom dot uh, directive dot ts file right and just copy the uh, selector here or you can just write it down but i prefer the copy because there is a camel cases and all right so just put it like here but after that you will still see there is nothing is changed here right because we did not change any code inside this file yet so now let's come back here and first of all we have to import here element ref and register it inside the or make the instance inside the constructor so just take a private property and let's say el and it can be element ref and just simply write here 
el dot native style dot style dot color can be like red and all right and now let's come back here now you can see that we are able to update the color here right so you can also change the background color or any other color whatever you just want like orange or green right let's try with the green also right so this is the way that how we can change the style so let's say you just want to change the uh, you just want to hide this element right when we just up apply the this directive so just right here display and just simply right here none right and you will see that this element is hidden from here right so now this directives have power to hide the element now so if you apply it on any element you will see that the element will be hide like this right so if we just remove from first of top one then this is only view so now this is a very powerful directive and it have to hide the uh, complete uh, html element right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video